clip brushes in Source Engine, whether it's for CSGO or any other Source-based game, are very important. Clip brushes block players and NPCs or bots from reaching external boundaries of the map. So if there's an area inside your map that you don't want the players or bots to get, you should use clip brushes. Clip brushes are also used for when you don't want the player to get stuck or hung up on geometry. So if you have a wall with some detail on it, such as here, you want the player to slide along and not get stopped by this detailed geometry. It's often also used in door frames, such as this corner here, so the player can just slide along and not get caught. Clip brushes are often also used for stairs. So you don't get that visual jitter as you go up and down the stairs. And with a clip brush, it's more of a smooth transition walking up and down the stairs. The way you create clip brushes is to use regular BSP geometry and then use face edit sheet, filter for clip, and apply either clip or player clip texture on the entire brush. And Source Engine knows that when this texture is applied, it blocks players and bots. Now there are two clip brushes that you would use. Either a regular clip texture or player clip. Now which one should you use and what is the difference between the two? I decompiled a few official CSGO maps and I found that in Militia, clip brushes were primarily used. While in CS Office, you see a lot of player clip brushes. So it was a bit confusing to figure out which one to use and why should I use one over the other. So I had to do some tests. Here on the left, I have nothing but clip brushes. And on the right, are player clip. Both brushes, clip and player clip, do not block bullets, they do not block grenades, and they do not block weapons from going through it. Both brushes do block players and bots, and they also block C4. Here on the left we have the clip brush. The clip brush blocks players and bots. It does not block bullets. It does not block grenades. And does not block weapons. However, it does block C4. The player clip works the exact same way. It blocks players and bots, does not block bullets, does not block grenades, and does not block weapons. Just like the clip brush, it does block C4. So in this sense, right now they're both identical. The one major and noticeable difference is clip brushes prevent navigation mesh from being generated and overflowing into the non-playable areas, while a player clip still generates navigational mesh. So to see navigation and clip brushes better in-game while you are testing, there are two console commands you need. To see clip brushes, bring up the console, type in R underscore draw clip brushes, space, 1, and press enter. Red are clip brushes, and purple are player clip. Then to see navigational mesh, type in nav underscore edit space 1. So here I have these two sections. Here's a clip brush, and behind this clip brush, no navigation is generated. While here behind this player clip, we can see that we have navigation. Also, if the clip brush is big enough, it will prevent generating the navigational mesh underneath the brush. Although it does seem to still create navigation underneath clip brushes if the clip brush is small enough. So due to this reason, I tend to use clip brushes over player clip. This becomes very important when you are blocking off the non-playable external boundaries of the map because you don't want navigation to be created outside these areas. Deathmatch map mode dynamically spawns players anywhere where there is navigation. So if you have navigation created outside the playable areas, you would have to manually delete it. So let me show you how this works. So here on the left hand side, let's say this flat plane 
is non-playable and I don't want any navigation created on it. So I'm going to duplicate this brush, move it up, and block it off by assigning clip texture. And here on the right, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to assign player clip. Now let's go ahead and compile. I'm also going to delete existing navigation from this map, so new navigation is generated. Inside the map, let's go ahead and re-enable, draw brushes, and navigation so we can see it. Here behind this clip brush, we have no navigation. And if we come over here, behind this player clip, we have navigation. So I would recommend that you use clip brushes most of the time. And if you run into some issues with navigation, from not being generated or being blocked off, then that's when I would switch over to Player Clip. Now this is how these brushes, Clip and Player Clip, work in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. But they will work slightly different in other source-based games, in Left 4 Dead 2 or 1, Team Fortress 2 or Half-Life. So be aware that this video is for CSGO and the functionality of these brushes will be slightly different in other source-based games.